Right, welcome to this Orcs uh, Tactics and Showcase video. Uh, this video is for one of the pivotal units for my Orc army, and that's Tank Busters. And uh, as most Orc players will agree, one of the potentially killer units that's out there for the Orcs. I really rate them. I, I think they're very, very good. They've got a good track record here in the, the different editions that I've been using Orcs. And now they're even more powerful, I think, uh, for the Orcs since the new codex has come along but in this video we'll take a look at the actual units you can look at the models and we'll zoom in take a look at them and then we'll go into the unit build and configuration upgrades tactics and then we'll hopefully roll up some dice as well just to illustrate how you can use uh, this unit in your games of Warhammer 40,000 so uh, tank busters then my tank busters are uh, conversions mostly so, I uh, will zoom in in just a moment. I'll show you the size. I run units of eight at the moment. I had gone to units of ten, but uh, we'll talk a bit about that a bit later on. And here's a couple of squigs as well. These have caused absolute nightmares for different units in different games, uh, but um, <laughs> I'll sort of show you uh, how you can cause trouble for your opponent with these as well. They are a soft unit, they're easy to kill, which is one of the downsides of them, but we'll try and cover how you can protect them as well. But we'll zoom in here, you can take a closer look at these models. So here's the, the knob for the unit, put a banner on here. Um, a bigger arm, I think this is a knob arm. And body, I think, from the regular old boys kit. Uh, the helmet is from the mega knobs, I believe, or the head is from the mega knobs. And then this is, um, I think it's a big shooter. I've cut the end off and then stuck on a little rocket here. So you can, I, I think there's a video here on the channel uh, the year or two ago of where I showed you my Orc tank buster conversion. So you can search that and you can see them before I painted them just to show you where I'd stuck different bits on. But inside the Mega Knobs box set, you get these little rockets uh, here and there and I've, I cut those off. Uh, some of them came from, I think now some of the Orc Flyers, they come with these rockets as well. Uh, and you can build these up, sometimes you can borrow them from different factions as well, like Astronautarum, Space Marines, and you can take the rockets and then stick them on just to represent uh, the rocket launcher there for the Orcs. Because there's no dedicated plastic kit for them yet, and so you, I've uh, had to sort of construct my own. So that shows you uh, that uh, conversion there, similar on this one. See, he's carrying just a shooter. I think it's just a shooter on that one. Cut the end off and stuck on a bit from a Mega Knob set on that one as well. And then uh, that's, uh, some spare rockets at the back. But uh, I think believable enough as tank busters. This one, again, carrying a shooter. I think, yeah. And then this one, I think, is a combination of... Uh, rockets here. Yeah, I think this is the end and the front of one of the uh, burner rockets from the Orc Flyer. Just cut off cut off the long tube in between and just made it shorter to stick that one together. And again, he's carrying some rockets on the back. I really enjoyed doing these swirling patterns as well. It looks very, very cool. Like this here, I think it looks great. Again, another combination. This one, big shooter or shooter. And then a uh, rocket combination there. This one is from uh, a Burner Boy model, again with the end cut off and a rocket stuck on it, so you, conversion's possible. You do get plenty of these spare, I think these come with the Orc Boys, I think, so you're able to stick those on the back that further. That makes them look like they're proper tank busters. You can get the official kit, it's like a re it's fine cast now I think, I'm just not so keen on the models. Uh, so and I there's not enough of them, so I wanted to create my own models just to fulfil two units of eight. There's another one just there. Now I think that is the official one, I believe. That's the the actual uh, rocket launcher that comes in with the Orc Boys kit. So you do get some, but it's only like one per box. So you know you need to buy a lot of Orc Boys boxes to be able to put that together. And they all sort of look the same, so I, I like the idea of converting your own. This is one that's um, the, the Def Gun here. Uh, for the orcs, for orc looters. Yeah, just do all the frame as seen here. 
and then uh, I just cut the end off and again stuck a rocket on there and a the spare rocket I stuck on the side and it looks like just a big orc rocket launcher and then one more like so so that's the conversion of them uh, I then got these little squigs this one here is the one that comes with the tank busters kit the tank buster bomb underneath and then this is one of my conversions here from <laughs> from one of the Warhammer squigs. These are lead. I found them on eBay. I just cut up some more stick bombs and <laughs> shoved them in his mouth. So it's like a ticking time bomb. So you imagine all these. Um, he's been living on a diet of grenades. <laughs> so he could go underneath a vehicle and just detonate himself. <laughs> so I just think they look great. So I, I didn't want them all looking the same. I didn't want to buy like 10 of these all the same. So I looked up the Warhammer ones and just tried to bring them into 40k by adding in a little bit of uh, 40k accessories. I'll see if I can find the other two here. Yeah. There's another four actually. May as well just a chance here to showcase them. There's another Warhammer one just there and just stuck a rack of uh, grenades on top. There's two grenade launchers there and a stick bomb in between. Who knows what combination the Orcs have invented for that one couple of mines <laughs> on that one there. So look at him. Oh, so, <laughs> so good. Another one. His name's Fetch. <laughs> so he goes after, picks up grenades. Not so good if you've pulled the pin. <laughs> he runs off and grabs it and brings it back. And this one here, this is the official one. So this, he's got a, some, looks like some TNT on either side of his ears. And then <laughs> some in his mouth as well. So a bit of a one-way ticket squig this one. <laughs> so that's that one there. But I wanted them all unique. Uh, each one's different. So I got six of them to call upon there. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed putting those together. Uh, but that's just the, the old Warhammer squigs uh, that I used to create those four of them at least that are unique. So see, because I, cause I I laugh at these because they they've caused terror to. James's vehicles in the past, just a little humble <laughs> squig, and uh, they caused trouble. I think they were like, when we were at Warhammer World filming the battle report there that was put on Twitch, uh, we did Orcs versus Guard, and, and these caused big trouble for the Bane Blade. Just humble little squigs. But we'll see, you'll see them in the rules in just a moment as to how effective uh, they can be. So, uh, tank busters are an elite's choice. I, I highly recommend them as a unit. I think they are potentially deadly. That's the official unit. Just there, you get like five of them, so it's not enough. It's a nice enough unit, but uh, that's the two squigs that I have. Uh, but I wanted to go for lots more of them, so I just constructed my own. So tank busters, uh, you are looking at a cheap starting cost for them. Yeah, they're five points, and this, the bomb squigs are ten points a time. Obviously, <laughs> one use only uh, for the bomb squigs. So you then have to pay. You just uh, we'll go through its usual orc stat line. See, so ballistic skill five plus. There's you know that's the standard for the orcs, but this can be improved significantly uh, with tank busters. The main aim for these, the, the reason why I use them, is to kill tanks. Just as it describes, that is their aim. At, uh, as the Orc army goes in for the kill, these guys are trying to pick out certain targets, vehicles that you know got a lot of decent firepower, and then they're just to make a beeline for them to go straight after them, and just unleash firepower and reduce those units down to try and uh, provide cover for the Orcs as they advance by neutralising uh, vehicle targets. If there's no vehicles around, they go after monsters or heavy infantry is the other options, but primarily it's killing vehicles and flyers as well. The standard tank buster, usual rules for the orcs then, ballistic skill 5 plus, two attacks. Yeah, you could you could charge them in, uh, but it's not ideal. You're, you're paying there for the firepower. So the danger of these is you know, six up armor save. If they're caught out in the open, so if you have these wandering around the battlefield, your opponent can pick them off. And even if it doesn't wipe out the squad, if you start losing numbers of these, their effectiveness drops dramatically. So the key is to try and preserve them, preserve their strength as much as possible. 
Uh, one option that players go for is uh, to put them inside a battle wagon. That will offer you decent protection. I use my battle wagon for other things. So I use uh, trucks or looty wagons. This is a looty wagon here, uh, but it's a cheap transport. It just means that the opponent has to destroy the transport before they can get to the softer tank busters. So that combo uh, is, is highly recommended. It's a lot more effort now for the opponent to try and get through to them. Um, take a vehicle that's open topped, so it means that these can drive around and still fire out of the top. It also means your movement is vastly improved. On foot you're going 5 inches, uh, in the vehicle you're going 12. So you're able to get in range and get in position a lot better. Uh, a further enhancement to protect them is your uh, custom force field. I mount mine on a bike from the index, give it the custom force field. That custom force field then protects the vehicle, so now the vehicle is a lot tougher. If the guys get out, uh, they're protective of 5 plus invon save as well, so that's an excellent uh, combination as well. You really want to keep these alive for as long as you can, but you obviously want to try and get them into position to shoot. They're only range 24, so you are going to put yourself in danger of being shot at, so there's not much you can do about it. Uh, so you just try and protect them by putting them inside transports and trying to give an invon save. Just try and make it as hard as possible for the opponent to try and destroy these. So, uh, having said all of that, yeah, I was on units of 10, uh, and then I was maxing out with the squigs. Uh, yes, it's more deadly, but the opponent knows that, and often I was finding, um, if I lose, if you lose a unit of 10 with all the squigs, you're looking at 200 points, over 200 points, that's a, a fair chunk of your army gone. I keep them at eight, and just a couple of squigs, and they're still deadly enough, especially now with the New York Codex. But if you lose them, it's not so bad. And besides, I've been trying to spend points on other things. Um, tank busters then, uh, in that combination that you see, is 156 points. So it's just sort of an average points cost for a unit, instead of beyond 200 if you go for units of 10. So units of 8 I seems to work okay for me. Usually you can expect some pretty good firepower from them and then plus a couple of squigs to help out as well. Uh, so you look at 5 points then you pay 12 points for your rocket launcher. 12, yeah. So 17 points a time. You see for orcs that's expensive for infantry and so uh, you really want to try and keep them alive. Each time a model dies, which they easily can, it's 17 points a time being lost, so heartily recommend as much protection as you can, because they are your elite part of your arm. So, you can go for, I'll just cover some of the other options, the standard loadout for these is uh, a rocket launcher, stick bombs and tank buster bombs, and each bomb squig carries a squig bomb. That's your standard loadout. Just cover some of the other options first and why I don't take take them. For every five tank busters and or boss knob in the unit, one tank buster may replace their rocket launcher with a tank hammer. So I so it's a melee weapon. It's ten points. Instead of paying twelve points, you pay ten. It is cheaper. Uh tank hammer here. Each time the bearer fights, it can make a single attack with this weapon. So you get A attack, needing 3 plus. If the attack hits, the target suffers D3 mortal wounds. And the bearer is slain. So you lose the model, and you cause D3 mortal wounds. I, um, I just don't think it's worth it. The, the only sneaky thing I've thought about these... you can The largest size you can go with these is units of 15. So for every five, so you could take three tank hammers in a big unit. And one sneaky way to use them would be to try and kill characters with them. So you just swing these tank hammers around, just cause loads of mortal wounds and, and kill characters, no matter what kind of on the save or toughness and so on they have. So that's a sneaky way of using them. But I want these for firepower, and, and the way, it the way it's worded here is you have to lose the rocket launch to take the tank hammer. So that's one model now that's not able to shoot, and then you've then you've got to try and get close, you've got to then try and get in close combat to try and use the tank hammer and then that's not a good place for them. Close combat uh, is not so good. They'll be 
taken out quite easily. Or your plant can back off and blast them away. So I'd rather keep these at range and fire from the safety of transports instead of getting too close. That's why I don't go for the tank hammer. For every five tank busters and or a boss knob in the unit, one tank buster may replace their rocket launcher with a pair of rocket pistols. So you've got rocket pistols here at range 12, so your range is cut in half. Pistol 2, you do get two shots. Strength 7, minus 2 and D3 damage. I don't see the point in doing that. It means you've got to get closer to use it or you need to be in close combat to use it. So I don't see the point in taking them at all. And uh, rocket pistols is 12 points. So you're not gaining anything really from that. So I, I like the standard rocket launcher. It's range 24, decent range. If you combine that with the ability to move nice and quickly with your transport, really it's 36 inches by the time you've moved with that. Uh, then you're at Assault 1, so even if you advance you can still shoot, that is very useful. Your Strength 8, so the average vehicle is 3's to wound, and even the tougher vehicles like Lehman Russes, Bane Blades and so on, you're on 4's to wound. It's minus 2, so you'll bite the chunk out of the armour to make it difficult for your opponent to make the armour save. And then if the damage does get through, this is the killer bit, it's guaranteed 3 damage every time. So 3 wounds get through. 9 damage, horrific potentially, so they're, they're, they're effective in, in larger numbers. Uh, I'll cover the squig bomb, range 18, so you need to get a bit closer for that. Uh, you can fire it as a shooting weapon, so range 18, strength 8, minus 2, d6 damage. You can't target units that can fly, and the bear is slain, but for the sake of 10 points, potential there are d6 damage, just amplifies uh, the tank busters here, and I think they're worth it. One reason why it's worth it with these is the squig has a weapon skill and a ballistic skill of 2 plus. So very reliable uh, shot coming from them or close combat attack coming from them. So I, I like the squigs, it's sort of reliable, uh, one or two dice you roll, it's twos to get your hits, um, it's nice reliable shots. So. That's those. So, uh, have here we go, if they need to charge, mob rule, and daka daka daka. Now, that is a, a deadly rule. That is better, a lot better. So each time you make an unmodified hit roll of six for an attack with a ranged weapon made by a model in this unit, the hit roll succeeds regardless of any modifiers. So all the Eldar shenanigans and so on, you still need your sixes to hit. So that's nice, it's a solid, reliable, standard for them. Sixes will always get you your hits. In addition, immediately make an additional hit roll against the same target using the same weapon. So if you do get any sixes to hit, that's going to generate you extra shots. And with that kind of high caliber weaponry, that makes them very, very nasty. Right, I'll mention it now. There's a stratagem that you can use called, called more Decca, just when you need it. Um, and it's two command points. Use the stratagem before an orc unit for your army shoots in the shooting phase until the end of the phase, the unit's daka 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 ability triggers on an unmodified hit rolls of five or six instead of a six. So any fives and sixes to hit, um, you will then. Yeah, that is really good for a number of reasons. Um, just another reason of, of, of I thought of just here. Say you're at a, firing at a target and you need sixes to hit because of some modifiers. Uh, it improves your DACA 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 ability. So you'll, not only will you uh, be generating extra attack, extra attack shooting attacks, but you're, you're guaranteed the hit roll is going to be five pluses regardless of all the modifiers stacked up. So that's really, really good. Fives or sixes you score, which is a, a good chance of a larger unit going to generate yourself extra shots. And all the shots, you know, that damage three coming for every time uh, can really, really help out. So excellent stratagem, just at the point where you need a bit of extra Daka, basically. Uh, so that's, that's, that's all really good. And then what's the, the icing on the cake for these guys is tank hunters. You can re-roll hit rolls. I said ones by accident in the codex review. It is re-roll hit rolls for attacks made by this unit that target vehicle units. So I, I'm going after tanks, that is their aim. If you do go after that target, you get to re-roll your hits. Fantastic. You, you may, it may be a difficult 
score to try and get fives and sixes but if it's re-rollable all your misses you're getting a chance to roll them again and then any sixes being scored is generating more shots so you can find yourself on a roll of just getting more and more shots pouring in and a little unit like that can all of a sudden generate like six seven eight hits um, <laughs> which is which is really really good so tank hunters excellent and uh, it's real hit rolls against vehicles so remember that's not just the rocket launchers it's the squigs as well and remember it's in close combat and any grenades that you throw as well all of that uh, against vehicles is all re-rollable so excellent uh, one other thing it says they're all armed with it says here uh, each tank buster and knob is armed with rocket launcher stick bombs and tank buster bombs the tank buster bombs deadly it's six inch range grenade d3 Strength 8, minus 2, and D6 damage. So potential 3 shots, and again, it's all re-rollable uh, for your shooting. Now what's horrific here, and if you saw the battle report <laughs> against the Imperial Knights, uh, I used this stratagem here. Games Workshop may well FAQ it, so you need to hurry up and use it as soon as you can. Uh, extra stick bombs. Use this stratagem at the start of the shooting phase. Select an infantry unit from your army. Up to 10 models in that unit can fire a grenade weapon in that phase instead of only one. Usually only one model from that unit is able to throw a grenade. Up to 10 models can throw their grenades just for the sake of one command point. So you can have eight D3 shots coming in at strength eight. <laughs> Minus two D6 damage. And that's the potential to, to bust a Bane Blade. So horrific. Incredible stratagem that one. Uh, so well worth using that as well. So you can see they've always been good. They're now excellent, I think. But the, the key with them is to protect them. If they get uh, busted out of their transform and blown away, they're gone. So you need to be wise with them. Another way to protect them is, despite all these things I stack up, is the threat of other units. So if I've got a battle wagon full of mega knobs hurtling towards the enemy, I've got orc boys piling in, I've got other stuff, the opponent's trying to deal with them, and if they're not shooting, if they're shooting other targets, they're not shooting at them. And so, that's another way of protecting them, distracting your opponent with other targets, uh, leaves them alone, which lets them go about their business of busting tanks, and very good they are at doing that. So, uh, that's all the combinations I can think of. Check the comment section below to see what other Orc players are saying. Uh, unit sizes, combinations, and so on. Um, but uh, that's sort of 156 points is what I'm paying at the moment, plus a truck, which is cheap and well worth doing. The other thing is to keep other trucks nearby, so if their transport's destroyed, they can hop into another truck just to try and keep them inside vehicles to protect them. Because, you know, once they're in the open, mortars are going to pick on them, bolters, las guns are going to start bringing them down. And then when you start to lose models, all of a sudden they're not that effective, they're not going to be that reliable. You need that sort of 8, 10, 8 size uh, to start getting the averages up for your shots coming through. So, try and bust the Rhino here. With firepower, just to illustrate. Or maybe hold back the squigs and just do rocket firepower just to see what we can do. So we go for eight shots. So I'm expecting this kind of unit to cause big trouble for this. So that's what I'm expecting, we'll see. Uh, I usually hold these. If it's an important target, like a Lehman Russ, I'll send them in, no problem at all. Um, so you've got to make that choice. You've got to balance it up. Am I going to die before I get a chance to use them? So you might want to send them off quite early in a game. It's quite rare I'll hang on to them for too long. Just let them loose. They're one use only, you see. So you don't want to pay the points, then have them killed and never get to use them. So that's your kind of shots you're looking at. Just there, we've got four hits. I'll just do my re-rolls first of all. This is, it's happening again. It seems to be every time. So I've got six hits and daka daka daka, I've got two bonus uh, shots, which both miss, but they're re-rollable. <laughs> I got myself another. Oh dear, eight, eight hits. Threes to wound, because it's toughness seven. So some have failed, but there's such a high volume of hits have come through. Uh, fives to save, opponent's done well, 
has actually kept the rhino alive. But that rhino's in massive trouble. That's nine wounds. So, tanks are pretty much job done. Yeah, the, the rhino's a wreck, virtually. I'll have another go. So, but that, that, that is just perfectly illustrated. You start to see the, the, the volume of uh, firepower you can get. So, it's a bad roll. If that was any other orc unit with sort of rocket launchers, that would be it. But because it's tank busters, it's all re-rollable. That's a big help. Oh, it's horrific. So that's the hits then. And I've got myself three extra shots, which one of them's hit, and I'll re-roll. I got myself another hit. So again, very reliable. Threes to wound. Two have failed. Fives to save. Again, save two, but nine damage coming through. So the rhino's in massive trouble. So let's say we're fighting against, uh, I, I get myself in range 18 of a predator. That's a high quality target. I definitely want to take it out. So I'll send in both the squigs and then I'll fire this unit as well. So uh, squigs then, uh, twos to hits is what I like them. Got my hits. Threes to wound. And it might be here that I go for a reroll, possibly to make the wound come through, but these are both wounded. Strength eight, toughness seven. Uh, fives to save. Opponent has saved one. But I get myself d6 damage. Yeah, six. That's, they just help the tank busters do their job. So Predator's gonna be left on five wounds remaining. Should be able to finish him off now uh, with these. So looking for fives and sixes. Normal shots, uh, re-rollable. Yeah. Madness. Look at that. Four sixes. Gonna get myself four more shots. <laughs> Rerollable. Ah, <laughs> crazy. See that? A unit of eight. This is the wounds. Fouled of a couple, but the volume of damage or hits and wounds coming through. Saved a couple, but nine, twelve, fifteen wounds caused. Uh, terrifying. Really is terrifying. So, Rhino long since destroyed or, or Predator long since uh, destroyed. And even a uh, land raider, if it's two up armor save, it's gonna reduce to a four up armor save. You know, half the damage is gonna come through uh, against that kind of target. So tank busters, uh, a great unit. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll do that strategy. Let's say we get within six, we're playing aggressive. Let's say there's an Imperial Knight, a Bane Blade nearby. I really wanna take it out. So I take the risk, I get close. Uh, well, couldn't you even just... Couldn't you even, I suppose, just drive up and throw all of your grenades out from the vehicle? I suppose you can. So there's that option there. Just get within six, drive up within six. Make sure you don't advance, just do a normal move. And then just chuck all the grenades out. So I play the stratagem, more stick bombs. Uh, I would definitely launch the squigs in as well. We're just saying this is a Bane Blade, for example. So 24 wounds to try and get through. Toughness, eight. Um, two squigs then, we'll chuck them in. Twos, fours, fouled with them. Then go for the grenades. So that's gonna be eight D3. So horrific, actually, <laughs> with them. Uh, just remembering here with the squigs, any sixes to hit actually is bonus shots. I believe they're still affected. They're still affected by Daka Daka. Daka Daka Daka. Uh, extra two. Not extra two, but that's the total number of D3. So we're looking for, this is a very poor roll by the way. But we've still managed to get ourselves five hits. I'll re-roll these. Add in a couple more. And there's one, two, three bonus shots from Daka Daka Daka. Generating an extra hit. And that's it. Okay, so that's those. Fours to wound. Good recovery. Uh, fives to save on the main blade. Excellent, excellent dice roll. But it is 3d6 damage. 12 wounds. From a disastrous dice roll where you've half killed a main blade, I would settle for that. That is very, very good. Play the strategy one more time. Uh, I do enjoy <laughs> rolling this here. Squigs. Rolling to hit. They've got their hits. Got their wounds this time. Fives to save, no. Bane Blade's gonna take 2d6 damage here. It's just four, but that's helpful. So now I've got 20 wounds to try and get through. Eight d3 shots with the grenades. Nine, 10. 
16, 17 shots. So, 17 shots uh, here. And that's not so good, but it's re rollable. This is the, the massive thing here. That's pretty horrific, actually. But I've generated, uh, I've got six hits, and I've got three bonus shots, which will miss. Re rollable, two more hits. So that's the all the hits coming through. Three wounds. Save one, another 2d6 damage. I think I'm going to average, whoa, 11. <laughs> so that was a good recovery there at the end. One more go and then I'll, <laughs> I'll finish here. So uh, the Bane Blade, uh, again, so we'll just reset it back to 24 wounds. Here comes the Squigs, double one, it's re rollable. Got the two hits, I've got a bonus shot here, which hits as well. I think that's the way it works, that's fine. Fours to wound, two wounds to come through, fives to save, no. 2d6 damage, yeah, seven, good result. Uh, then it's eight d3 grenade shots. Looks good, it's nine, 10, 17. Yep, yeah. 10, and 17. It's looking for fives, again, quite poor. Fives again. Yeah, that's a hundred times better. Look at that. That's that, that's what I was looking for. This is the potential now to to kill the Bane Blade in one <laughs> in one round of shooting uh, from these tank busters. So uh, an extra six shots, would you believe? In fives and re-rollable. Now looking for wounds of four plus. This has the potential to do it. Ah oh, no, deadly. That's a terrible shame. Usually, on average, you're going to get a lot better than that. Uh, fives to make saves. Typical, the opponent saves two, and it's another five damage. Uh, again, which is 12. So your average you're looking at is to half kill uh, the vehicle that's trashed them, uh, which is still excellent. I mean, you've got other Orc units around that are going to cause trouble, but to half kill a Bane Blade with a 150-point unit and a one, point, one command point stratagem, them, I'll take that any day. No problem at all. So, I mean, you do the maths there. I, I rolled some pretty poor rolls there, but I mean, that happens in games. But even with poor dice rolling like that, uh, the, the damage is uh, pretty deadly. And it's a stratagem, so you can use it again on another turn. So, I uh, expect some drive by grenade attacks <laughs> with the tank busters all being well. So, uh, a bit of a shock for the opponent as well when it happens, I think. But there it is. That's the tactics then for the tank busters. I, I rate them very highly. Uh, you can make them a sneaky smaller unit here. I think the other big thing is eight and two. It means I can fit them inside the battle wagon no problem. If I went for units of 10 and four squigs, that's 14, I'm not gonna have the space. So that's a nice sort of uh, orc truck sized unit that matches up quite nicely. And really all of that is about 200 points, 210, 215 odd points for that whole combination, which isn't too bad at all. You've got yourself a nice tank hunting unit that's got a nice layer of protection and blisteringly scary firepower available as well. But there it is, that's the, uh, just park these two rhinos next to each other here, but that's the uh, tactics and showcase for tank busters. Check out the comment section below, see what other Orc players are saying about how to use these, and how successful they can be. Uh, other tactics perhaps that I've missed, uh, check out the Plus channel for more alt content, battle reports, uh, painting tutorials, and so on. But there it is uh, for the Orc Tank Busters. Great unit. Keep a lookout for more tactics videos for the Orcs and battle reports here on YouTube and the final army when it arrives as well. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.